In a time marked by the rise and fall of empires, where the conflict of civilizations rang through the centuries, there emerged a solitary spark. In the center of this dynamic moment stood a man both visionary and fighter, whose name would become associated with splendor. Born in 6 November 1494, he followed the traditional course of succession within the Ottoman Empire. Educated in several areas including poetry, philosophy and the military arts, he polished his talents under the direction of instructors. Before taking into the role of Sultan in 1520, Suleiman had already shown himself as a powerful military leader during his father Suleiman's rule. Suleiman actively engaged in several conflicts, displaying his strategic ability on the battlefield. By the time he gained the throne, Suleiman had secured his status as a significant role in Ottoman military activities. These early experiences substantially shaped his leadership style, providing the framework for the massive military conflicts that would characterize his own rule. Suleiman's ascent to power signaled the start of a revolutionary period for the Ottoman Empire. If you're captivated by stories like this, don't forget to subscribe to Ancient Perspectives for more epic tales of history's greatest figures and moments. Hit the bell icon to never miss an adventure into the past. Beyond the normal goal of conquering lands, Suleiman aspired to shape the empire based on his deep-founded values and principles. His vision was grounded in a desire to assert Ottoman dominance, not just as a political force, but also as a defender of the Islamic faith. As a devoted Muslim, Suleiman considered the Christian West as a possible danger to the Islamic world. The Ottoman Empire was positioned between Europe and Asia, therefore Suleiman's military assaults against Christian areas were driven not just by theological disagreements, but also by a careful analysis of political and strategic issues. In 1521, marking his maiden war as Sultan, Suleiman the Magnificent led the Ottoman Empire into a key period during the Siege of Belgrade, a city strategically placed inside the lands of Hungary. This key metropolis served as a major connection between Ottoman lands and the core of Europe. Suleiman's strategic talents shone through as Ottoman forces were able to carry out a brilliant campaign, reaching its pinnacle with the victorious seizure of Belgrade. This win not only displayed Suleiman's might but also exposed the helplessness of Hungarian authorities to defend themselves against the expansionist policies of the Ottoman Empire. Similarly, the siege of Rhodes in 1522 highlighted his intention to ensure Ottoman control in the Mediterranean. A Christian military order recognized for their role in giving care to pilgrims emerged as a significant obstacle to Ottoman maritime ambitions. Suleiman's unrelenting pursuit of expansion, but also underscored the Ottoman Empire's expanding importance in critical maritime channels, further strengthening its place as a significant power in the Mediterranean. As Suleiman increased his dominance, Hungary, having witnessed his earlier success at the Battle of Belgrade, became a focal point. The Battle of Mohacs in 1526 represented another triumph for Suleiman, consolidating his dominance in the region. Following this conquest, Suleiman strategically selected John Zapoya, a high-ranking Transylvanian lord, as a vassal ruler, understanding the delicate balance of power. John Zapoya's alliance with Ottoman interests and his local power made him a feasible choice, but this move added to the already complicated regional politics. Suleiman's antipathy for the Habsburgs, notably Ferdinand, the Christian ruler of the Holy Roman Empire, rapidly rose during this era. Ferdinand was battling for power in Mohacs, contributing to the poor ties between Suleiman and the Habsburgs. Suleiman's military expeditions into Hungary and Austria displayed not simply physical power, but strategic skill and intense conflicts. His men negotiated rough terrain utilizing flexible army paths to outmaneuver the adversary. Despite encountering losses, Suleiman's battles left a enduring influence on European history. Suleiman's vision stretched beyond the limits of Europe, directing his attention to the East. The Ottoman Safavid rivalry played out in a succession of fascinating wars. The Battle of Chaldiran in 1514 stood out as a significant turning point. His military exploits were highlighted by a remarkable ability to negotiate and exploit the different terrains of Persia, displaying the versatility and agility of the Ottoman armies. His strategic ability were obvious in the way Ottoman soldiers efficiently maneuvered across hilly mountains and past deserts, modifying their tactics to fit to the demands given by the diverse Persian geography. Beyond flexibility, Suleiman exhibited an aptitude in creating and sustaining essential supply networks. The Ottoman military, under his leadership, maintained a regular supply of supplies to sustain the Ottoman forces in remote and tough countries. This logistical ability played a crucial part in the repeated success of Ottoman battles in Persia. Moreover, Suleiman exploited the terrain to his advantage. 
Ottoman soldiers deliberately positioned themselves using natural features for camping, mounting ambushes and commanding vital spots. This utilization of the terrain not only gained tactical advantages over their foes, but also contributed to the overall success of Ottoman military operations. Suleiman led a diversified military, bringing together foot soldiers, horses and artillery to function well in the different and unpredictable Persian terrains. Suleiman's military success in the Ottoman Safafid battles in Persia was influenced by his astute use of routes, agility, managing supplies properly and strategic location. Suleiman's presence and strategic intelligence made a lasting influence on the evolving saga of the Ottoman Safavid struggle in the East. Beyond the battlefields, Suleiman was a visionary leader. Suleiman put into place enduring political changes and one notable success was the creation of the Canaan e Osmani, a complete legal code. This code has two uses. The first was to secure justice in his domain and the second was to ensure that his government functioned in an efficient manner. Suleiman's purpose was to achieve this by reducing legal procedures, boosting administrative openness, and to build a fairer society through the codification of laws. He developed the Kanun I Osmani to promote efficient government and a just legal system, creating a lasting legacy that affected the Ottoman legal framework for years. In addition to his military and political accomplishments, Suleiman helped the Ottoman Empire become economically prosperous. One significant approach he utilized to achieve this was to enhance trade and commerce. Recognizing the Ottoman Kingdom's excellent location between Europe and Asia, Suleiman took measures to exploit this position in order to offer economic gain to his kingdom. For example, he spent in building infrastructure, such roads and bridges, making it simpler for products to travel around the empire. Suleiman also reinforced the Ottoman fleet to safeguard major sea lanes, boosting maritime trade. Beyond domestic efforts, he created diplomatic relations to boost commerce with other partners, turning the Ottoman Empire into a busy hub for the trading of spices, textiles and other valuable items, attracting merchants from Europe, Asia and Africa. Suleiman's concentration on infrastructure, naval might and foreign connections established an atmosphere that promoted economic expansion. The increasing riches not only assisted the administration, but also made the Ottoman Empire more culturally and intellectually lively throughout his rule. Suleiman's personal life was distinguished by interesting events, notably the drama involving his son Mustafa. Once a possible successor, Mustafa tragically fell out of favor under circumstances surrounded by political intrigue and charges of conspiracy. The actual facts leading to Mustafa's downfall remain unclear, with various historical versions. In 1553, Suleiman took the terrible decision to order the execution of his own son, a choice that rang across the Ottoman court. Historians discuss the causes behind Mustafa's fall, examining elements such as political maneuvering inside the court and probable external influences. The aftermath of Mustafa's unfortunate demise increased complication to the Ottoman court dynamics. The battle between Suleiman's surviving sons, Selim and Bayezid grew as they desired the throne, but not without the residual worry of meeting a destiny akin to Mustafa's death. Throughout this dynastic conflict, the uncertainties and hazards connected with contending for the throne formed the complicated power battles inside the Ottoman Empire. Eventually Selim emerged as the successor, becoming Sultan Selim II. This portion of the empire's history was significant in establishing where the empire would go next, shaping what Suleiman's descendants would be famous for. As Suleiman's rule ended in 1566, his impact spread well beyond military and political successes. His legacy on the Ottoman Empire comprised a rich cultural, artistic and architectural heritage. Under Suleiman, the empire became a center for Islamic knowledge, supporting cultural interaction and intellectual pursuits. Artistically, his age prospered with contributions to literature, music and visual arts. Suleiman himself was a great poet, adding to the literary riches of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman court prospered as a creative hotspot, attracting talents from around the empire. Architecturally, Suleiman's rule is characterized by the Suleimani Mosque. Commissioned by him, the mosque serves as a testimony to his passion to the arts. Its great architecture, towering domes and graceful minarets merge Ottoman and Islamic forms, leaving an unforgettable impact on Ottoman aesthetics. Suleiman the Magnificent was more than a conqueror. He was a statesman, a visionary and a complicated character, navigating the stormy currents of his time. If you are captivated by stories like this, don't forget to subscribe to Ancient Perspectives for more epic tales of history's greatest figures and moments. Hit the bell icon to never miss an adventure into the past.